Condensation Polymerization In this type of polymerization, repeated condensation between bifunctional or trifunctional monomers takes place. During condensation, simple molecules such as water, alcohol, hydrochloric acid, etc. can be eliminated. In this process, each step gives rise to a distinct functionalized species and is independent of each other. So this process is also called step growth polymerization. 1. Polyamides These polymers possess amide linkages. These are termed as nylon, which are important in synthetic fibers. A. Nylon 6, 6. It is obtained by the condensation, polymerization, hexamethylene diamine and adipic acid under high pressure at high temperature. It is used in making sheets, bristles for brushes, in textile industry. B. Nylon 6. It is obtained by heating caprolactam with water at a high temperature. It is used in the manufacture of tire cords, fabrics and ropes. Nylon 6 is also called parlon. 6. Nylon 6 10. It is obtained by heating hexamethylene diamine with sebiac acid under high pressure and high temperature used in mountaineering ropes, tire coats, fabrics, etc. 2. Polysters These polymers possess ester linkages. Dacron or terylene is best known example of polysters. It is prepared by heating a mixture of ethylene glycol and terephthalic acid at 420 to 460 Kelvin in the presence of zinc acetate antimony trioxide catalyst. This is crease resistant and used in blending with cation and wool fibers and also in glass reinforcing materials in safety helmets etc. 3. Phenol formaldehyde polymer Bakelite and related polymers These are the oldest synthetic polymers. These are obtained by the condensation of phenol with formaldehyde in presence of an acid or a base as catalyst. The initial product is a linear product called Novolac used in paints. This on heating gives bakelite used in making combs. Phonograph records electrical switches and handles of utensils.